The first ever TM Lights race here at the Beaver Run Motorsports Complex sees Kurt Reynolds take the pole position, much as he did at Road Atlanta. Here is car number 88. He's on the front row with Mexican Hector Serrano, who was on the podium there. John Quackenbush and Han Young Sung at starting in front of the grid as well. Uh, very similar to the uh, cars that were doing well at Road Atlanta. Uh, first time the TM Lights has been here. And, oh, no, there we go. It's Ingrid Hadeland getting wrecked by somebody else. Uh, well, uh, no, where they're, they're rubbing, they're baiting and banging all over the place. Let's see what happens here. Watching Hadeland, the number 10 car, the Norwegian. Ah, uh, just, wow. Wow, Jack Dempsey didn't even try, really. Just drove straight into the back of Hadeland. And Karma, oh, there's Friedrich Jaeger in, into it as well. Will Lewis in trouble in the two car, but I think that looks like a mechanical problem. And the 136 car is Victor Kane. Looking at Craig Janser, one of the more experienced guys in the series, as he gets turned by Matt Brinson. Uh, oh, nope, nope, goes right in front of traffic. There's Luke Ocean in it, in the 134 car. Uh, Luke Ocean, uh, Matt Brinson's been pretty quick on and off throughout his whole career. Here's Wyatt Castle in the 40 car. And as he gets turned into the wall by Thurston Blood, uh, who clearly has a thirst for taking him out, there is Mike Humphreys in the zero off there. Looking on, we're on board Victor Kane as the camera is having frame drop. It's, uh, it's dropping frames, it looks like. Here's Ross Carter in the 15 car, that ugly hmm, cyan and white contraption thing. As there is Joel Rodriguez behind him in the 86. As Rodriguez gets into the back of the 15 and turns him around. So Ross Carter loops it around and uh, he's going to rejoin a bit further back. Meanwhile, Hector Serrano is pulling away a little bit in car number one. This is the car that won the championship with Axel Andersson last year. Hence why it has the number one on it, even though Serrano is a rookie. Han Young Sung is uh, a little ways behind him. The uh, a very popular Korean Joker back there. And here is uh, Chris Nagano in the 135 as he's chasing Claire Aussie in the 11. And, oh, Aussie spins it, and so does the 18 car over there. That's Gabe Messina in the 3. And there's the 84 that's bred. Oh, Messina turns Nagano. Nagano around. Oh, this could end badly. Oh, oh, there's Aussie not using the brakes and uh, or the windshield, really. Oh, the 69. That is driven by Bill Calhoun, Jim Kerrigan in there in the 55. Oh, this is a mess. All right, let's have a look here and there. We're looking at Nagano. There's Aussie spins it. There must be something on the track over there because somebody else spun in the back, too. And then Gabe Messina. Uh, there's Nagano. It looks like he's going wide. Gabe Messina just runs right in the back of the 135, turns him around. And, yeah, no, Aussie. Yeah, Melrose lucky to miss that. And there's the 69 car driven by Bill Calhoun. 12 cars in it, Ashley Tucker. Oh, Duran Ridman and well, Takuma Nagata piling into something. Here's Duran Ridman, 68 car. Involved in that controversy with Team Timothy, but uh, turned out his involvement wasn't quite as bad as we thought, as, yeah, Ashley Tucker in it. The 54 is Takuma Nagata. Well, anyways, Kurt Reynolds in the 88 car is now doing battle with the 19 of former series champion Troy Adams. Adams, one of the... Definitely one of the older guys in this field, and one of the more experienced ones, too. He's in his 40s, he knows his way around a racetrack, and he's one of the more adaptable guys, too, despite his age. There is, uh, but doesn't really have Reynolds there. We're looking at Buffy Boreanaz in the 24 car. And Buffy is uh, trying to slot up. Oh, no, Buffy got help. 86 cars on a rampage today. Joe Rodriguez, I think, um, was playing some bumper tag. Here's Jerry Johnson, the 38 car. The uh, St. Gessler. It's one of the Unit 11 cars. Johnson, uh, one of the stalwarts for that team. They got a couple of very solid, experienced drivers, and that's a solid. Uh, no, he spins it. Oh, Carter, what are you doing? And why did that just happen? All right, well, yeah, American Steel. There you go. The 38 car is driving it away. Um, so there is Johnson and the Gessler. Uh, actually, I think they might be done. I don't think the officials will let them keep running with. Um, I don't know why uh, Carter decided to, to, to drive all the way left to be a good thing. You know, there is the old saying, you know, when a car is spinning, point your car at and it'll go away. That doesn't apply when that car is stationary. Um, here's Brad Dwyer in the 84-18 car spinning again. No surprise there. Here is the uh, car number four, Richard Scott. He's uh, Serrano's teammate, and he loses it. Now, Richard Scott's actually been um, keeping up with Hector Serrano. He's a pretty talented driver in his own right, just not quite having the same weekend that Serrano's having. 
Uh, here is Serrano, who is uh, really pulling away and making things very boring at the front of the field, to be perfectly honest with you. He is um, really the only car within a tenth of a second of him is Han Young Sung at the moment in the 71. Here he is. And uh, Sung is, have, is uh, still not fast enough to really run down Hector Serrano, and especially when he's getting jammed up by lap cars like this. Uh, not on purpose by Craig Yancer, mind you. It's just the way that this track is this track is shaped. It's really not that easy to get by a lap car here, uh, unless you just do that. Uh, <laughs> Han Young Sung getting a little sick and tired of Craig Yancer. Here's J here's uh, James Hewitt um, in the uh, 155 car. Uh, he's an exponent of, a uh, big fan of prototype racing in the 155 cars, uh, driven some in the past, I believe. Been, uh, the Englishman having a good run here today. Here is Richard Scott again as he's running down Giovanni Rota, it looks like. And here's Serrano lapping the zero car of Michael Humphreys. And, oh, Serrano loses it, so there must be something here on the inside there. And again, there isn't a whole lot of grip on this track, and uh, that's what most of the complaints about the, uh, have been about this weekend from the drivers. Not a whole lot of grip on the circuit. Here's Kurt Reynolds in the 88 trying to lap his teammate, Craig Yonser. But uh, half the Degarmo cars have been lethal weapons, seemingly, and the other half are sponsored, have the same sponsor. So there you go. Take that for what, for what you will. Yonser in the 89 car doesn't know what a blue flag is, and James Hewitt closes in. Here's the 71 of Han Young Sung, who took over the lead from Serrano. Serrano is not far behind him, so maybe we'll actually have some kind of battle for the lead. At the no, Michael Humphrey's getting in the way. Um, you did see what... Uh, no, the 71 loses it, and Serrano goes right on pass, so status quo reestablished. Uh, both because the zero car, Michael Humphreys, doesn't exactly know what a mirror or blue flag is. Uh, so, I don't know, maybe uh, maybe they didn't, they took them out of that zero car this race. That's, see, that's sort of what it looks like here. As Serrano sets up Humphreys. Humphreys was driving the ASCC last year, and from what I recall, uh, he had much the same problems there as well. Serrano having some difficulties getting by the zero cars. Here's Kurt Reynolds in the 88 car with uh, the 155 of Hewitt breathing down his neck. Um, but Hewitt not exactly there to set him up yet. And, yep, Michael Humphrey's getting in James Hewitt's way now. I really wonder what the excuses are going to be here. Alex Harrison has been pretty adamant in defending his driver, but I don't... Oh, he just got turned by James Hewitt, who wanted nothing to do with Michael Humphrey's impeding his progress. Afterwards, Hewitt is actually able to run down the 88 of Reynolds again, and uh, the battle's resumed, uh, except, of course, right there when it looked like Reynolds got a better run down that straightaway than Hewitt. Oh, Hewitt spins it! I'm on that um, curbing over there. So James Hewitt loses a place, but he's still having a solid day today, to be quite honest. Here's uh, uh, Buchanan in the double zero car. He's uh, in 17th place right now. The only one of the Timothy cars that's still running. Uh, Team Timothy was in, uh, had all sorts of controversy when uh, uh, in that huge, that uh, huge deal with Cardona uh, was made public, and uh, Cardona was ousted from the team, got disqualified in the first three races because of everything that they were doing to um, Cardona's car, and it seemed like Team Timothy is just trying to have an event-free weekend. Don't think they've accomplished that. Here's Han Young Sug now trying to hold off uh, Kurt Reynolds. Back uh, where something's actually happening, here's Joel Rodriguez in the 86 with the rear end all smashed in. Um, getting by Craig Gouncers. Oh, no, they're both a lap down, racing for position, and Daniel Melrose on the lead lap. Oh, he spins it. There's Richard Scott. Nowhere to go. We're right into the side of the 86. Now, what do you do there if you're Richard Scott and a car does this? What What do you do there? What do you do? Ah, uh, they... That was a bit of a mess over there. Melrose and Buchanan doing battle for position. Buchanan spins it out. Rejoin... Oh, Gabe Messina does the exact same thing. Now here's Steve Holiday Jr. in the 18 car, who's been spinning left and he's been spinning all over the place this weekend. Um, he's got the 34 car of Quackenbush behind him, and he's got Brad Dwyer in front of him. It's not Kurt Reynolds; that's the 84. That is Brad Dwyer, uh, Kevin Dwyer's younger brother. And Brad Dwyer, I don't think wants anything to do with the one with the 18 cars. He's gonna let him go. No, Brad Dwyer spins it out. Brad Dwyer, I think, was being too nice there. He looked like he was letting him go on the outside and just lost it on the curb all by himself. So, a bit too nice there from Brad Dwyer. As Serrano pits the one car, and uh, then the one lap later, the rest, pretty much everybody else pits afterwards, except the cars that already had damage. Rodriguez got damage fixed, but he's going to spin the 86 car again all on his own. Joel Rodriguez having a bit, of, a bit too many things happen to him today. I think he can't wait for today to end, and... Speaking of today ending, James Hewitt in the 155 car um, 
He's pulled that car off the course. Here is the car number one of Hector Serrano. And there's really nothing going on around him. He's having a pretty good, he's having a pretty good day. It's the day you want to have when you're a driver. Uh, to absolutely uh, beat the field in the submission as Josh Marshall has a mechanical problem in the back of the nine car and he loses it. So, uh, yeah, there's smoke coming out of the back of that thing. Josh Marshall running in ninth. He's done, but he doesn't know where to go. Um, uh, panic clearly setting in there after he had a mechanical failure under braking, so, uh, seemingly. So, uh, Marshall, big disappointment for down under motorsports. It's a great team with two pretty good drivers there, so Marshall out of it. Ross Carter in the modified in this 15 car. He's still... Uh, no, not anymore. He was running um, pretty well for Ross Carter, and uh, but his day is now over. As here's the 19 of Troy Adams doing battle uh, f with the uh, 88 car. This is the battle for third, so Troy Adams has that third place. He's clearly lost none of his touch. Last year in the Master Cup Series was a bit trying for him, granted given his age, but you know, uh, given his age and his experience level, that was to be expected, though. Here's Brad Dwyer in seventh, getting held up by his teammate. Great teamwork here over at DeGarmo Enterprises. Granted, Owen DeGarmo did say that he wanted all his cars to race each other. I don't quite think this is what he had in mind. Brad Dwyer, I think he's getting a little... Yeah, he got tired of playing nice, and he's wrecked his team. And that's going to be an interesting whole lot of discussion, and John Quackenbush got the place as Rodriguez's car is uh, stuck in the wall over there. Hector Serrano in car number one is pulling away from the field and uh, really doesn't look like anyone's got anything for him. Hector Serrano, he's got one more corner to go. The Mexican uh, pretty much leads all but one lap and takes the win here at Beaver Run. Uh, that was actually a fantastic drive from Serrano, even though he made it very boring for the spectators. Han Young Sung and Troy Adams completed the podium. A, la a late race charge by Kurt Reynolds notwithstanding. Steve Holliday Jr. recovered from all those spins, got himself up to fifth. Mark Blackwell, a quiet day for him. That's what he needs. Brad Dwyer and John Quackenbush had good days. Mariano Zavala managed to not hit anything all weekend. And Robert Blake uh, completes the top ten. Ike Durbin, Dylan Buchanan, good runs there. Giovanni Rota flew into the radar. So did Daniel Melrose. That's hard to, that's hard to believe. Lane Cranston, Richard Scott recovered from that bizarre incident with Rodriguez early in the race. Come home 16th. Luke Ocean, after crashing in the first lap, Gabe Messina, after tearing up quite a few cars, and Friedrich Geiger round out the points finishers. Serrano has a big lead in the championship uh, over Steve Holliday Jr. and John Quackenbush, both of whom, though, I think can uh, pose legitimate threats to Serrano as the season goes on. Luke Ocean still fourth, Matt Brinson up to fifth. A lot of shuffling here in the uh, championship because of the uh, controversy with Team Timothy, but as you see, uh, that only affected Carlos Cardona's car. Dylan Buchanan in uh, eighth place seems to be Team Timothy's strongest bullet right now, but I think that 69 car could legitimately win a race again with this time with Bill Calhoun as the driver. Zavala have, looks like he's having a good start to the season along with Lane Cranston, Kurt Reynolds, Jim Kerrigan, two rookies with great futures, Victor Kane having a great start to the year, Ingrid Hadeland is uh, set to make her Master Cup debut uh, in uh, for the Lynx Racing Team soon. Uh, Craig Yonser in the 89 car is having a good season so far, and so is Troy Adams. Josh Marshall and Will Lewis, two drivers with very limited experience, round out the top 20 in the championship.